there's the little stand that was supporting the uh, soup pot. There's my steam chamber. And there's the soup pot. And then on the underneath bit, all I have is a 600 watt element from a stove. And normally they run at 220 volts. Put 110 volts on it. And it uh, took about, I poured uh, water from a kettle that had been boiled. So that got it going. And it took about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour to get steam up. And what I did to hold it nice and tight, so I got a piece of strapping from construction site, made a clip for it. And then you can see I just took another piece of strapping, made a sharp bend, took it up over the, the, the element, made another sharp bend, tightened, tightened the uh, screw up nice and snug, and then just pounded that until this strap was holding the, the element right up tight against the pot. So that's how it turned out. And turned out to be okay. Just uh, sits on there. And all the electrics and so on are insulated from everything. And, oh, there's the strap. Just a little piece of angle. Two bolts. I didn't want this thing to wiggle back and forth. If I had it to do over again, I would probably uh, bend this angle forward a little bit. But as it's turned out, it's seems to be okay. No cracks on. You can see that's nice and a nice clean bend. Nice clean bend there. Not 100% symmetric, but it'll do. And then this gap can be filled with uh, a little uh, backer plate, and then oak uh, put into that. This is. Uh, This is what the, uh, I have a second piece of oak, just in case the first one buggered up, but didn't, so, seems to be alright. If I, if I do some more steaming, no question that I have to surround the uh, pot with some insulation and, and surround the pipe with some insulation because it was taking a fair amount of heat. Here's the uh, setup for steam bending. The uh, belt guard. There's the form. Now you can see the oak. It's just uh, about a quarter of an inch thick. It's a good one inch wide center to center distance, seven and a half inches, four inch diameter on the one end and three and a half inches on the other. Turned out not too bad. Right at the very end, I mean, I started bending here and then went around. And then when I was coming back here, I had a bit of a fracture, but it's not all the way through. The other thing, interestingly enough, have this gap, that can be filled. Anyway, here's the setup that I use to steam. <clears throat> this is a galvanized pipe. I think it was used as a roller and just a hunk of aluminum to keep the steam in. Uh, let me get a, a rag. So I can grab the thing, lift it off. So essentially I have 
I'll just lay that down. So I have two concentric pieces of wood, a little piece of screen to keep the thing from falling down. There's the pot. It's a two gallon soup pot. And underneath I have an element run on 110 volts.